Hey everybody, Steve Havel, coach, consultant, and ambassador of Sharing the Love. And today, I want to talk about the heart of service. See, we all serve every day. No matter what we do, no matter what our role, we're either serving you know, our friends, our kids, our spouse, our family, our work environment. Whatever it is, it's that gift that you bring. It's who you're being. It's your authentic state that makes that difference. And so, when you really pay attention to it and you're deliberate about it, you can have a massive impact. So let's talk about two different things, what it is and what it isn't. So when we look at what it isn't, you know, it isn't someone going through the motions. You know, just kind of like, next customer, please, right? You know, we want to feel it. We want to feel that people care, right? If that's the person and you don't know what I'm talking about when I say that, it's probably you. <laughs> All right, hopefully there'll be something in here that can serve you and that I can be of service to help raise the bar in that area. All right. Also, it's been said that there's only two kinds of service that people notice, lousy service and extraordinary service. And we talk about both. We yelp about both. We refer based on both. We vote with our dollars based on both. So think about what side of the equation do you want to be on? Because it isn't hard to go from average service to extraordinary service. And that happens through being authentic, through caring, through that selfless act of being genuinely interested in people's lives. And finding out what's going on or just authentically meaning hey how's your day going instead of just saying it people can tell we're really smart we can feel it when people mean it and when we feel it and it's real it feels good you know at the end of the day it's about being someone out to make a difference and it's about the golden rule when you look at what do you value and you honor in the way that people serve you then just take a piece of that bring it into your life take it into your style find your own unique expression of service and so it's that, you know, that way that we connect, it's the kindness of holding the door open or saying, hey, excuse me, ma'am, you forgot this, or hey, buddy, you dropped your wallet. It just restores our faith in humanity. So next I want to talk about what I call courageous service. And this is really cool, right? Because courageous service is where you go into the uncomfort zone, you know, that discomfort zone to be able to step out of your way and serve someone else. And that could be the person with their zipper down at the meeting, right? That's basically just, you can tell, it's just an embarrassing moment waiting to happen. You can be like, hey man, your zipper's down. Good to see you, right? Blow it off, be respectful. You know, it could be the same thing if they're busting a salad bar, they got stuff in their teeth, right? Let them know. If they say only your best friends will tell you, or a courageous champion of service. So, the third part is, that person who's salty, right? They're just grumpy and they're taking it out on everybody and they're picking and you just like, you never know what's going on over there. They could be having a horrible experience in the background right now. So just be kind, be generous, find out what's going on. Hey, are you okay? You seem troubled. Is there anything I can do to help? Right? That's outrageously courageous. I was talking about my brother last week in the video about the same thing. You know, be willing to take the thorn out of the lion's foot and see what happens. It could be magic. Magic. So here's my challenge to you. Three things. First, ask yourself, who do you serve in life? It could be three people, it could be three communities, three areas, but just jot them down. Get present, think about, and be conscious in how you serve. The second one is, how do you want to show up there? Right? Write a list of three, five, seven attributes that are expressions of your natural state of being that you want to bring to the party when you serve in any given moment. And then the third thing is, just create three practices, right? Choose out of those different expressions three things that you're gonna do each day. It could be just busting a smile to a stranger, acknowledging people when you walk by, you know, hi, how you doing? Or just, you know, being kind, um, giving people a compliment, acknowledging great work. It's a big, big part of life. So, that's my invitation, friends. I really wanna invite you to just surrender, yes, surrender to the heart of service. It could change your perspective on the world. It could change the way the world shows up in your life. And in bottom line, it could change the world. And you can be a part of that in each interaction. So that's it. If you dig it, find your own expression of service. Get out there. If you like this message, just basically like it. Follow me, get next week's message. Share the love, pass it on to somebody else. And until we talk next, go out there in your world. Keep sharing the love, keeping it real, and living your dream. See ya.